All right. We are heading to the Sky Temple. We've got Dahaka. Enemy team probably going to be fighting us for our push, but we push harder than he is. <sighs> our team got Zeratul, Nova, Jaina, and Diva against their Nova, Li Ming, and Junkrat. So we have great pick potential, but we're not going to be sitting there in the middle of no brawl. Diva's just going to die with any kind of focus. And Jaina will not survive once Jakarigan gets on top of her. Not to mention Kerrigan Burst combined with Nova Burst usually means dead squishy Jaina. So, how's this going to play out? Well, this map's kind of spread out, so Zul doesn't have the ability to just like jump between lanes and go and clear them out and then go. He can do it. It's just you gotta you gotta clear it and then immediately mount up and go. And if there's any kind of contest, you you've wasted your time. So ideally, you're going to go to the lane where temples don't spawn first and try to get some some get a turret line down just get some kind of push this will be interesting because I'll probably be against the Haka when I do this and it'll be interesting to see how he chooses to fight me whether or not Nova's going to be coming down it's like oh look he's playing real aggressive all of a sudden when he's been playing passive here comes Nova now I'm dead anyway Battle. We are going to go for Shade this time. Ready to pop some hostile. It'll save us a bit of damage along with the shields. Death as an old friend. Being being able to evade basic attacks just means that. The temple opens in. They can't sit there and, and tap you under the turret with that one final Five, auto. Four, three. But we'll just have to see how this plays out. Let your battle and head down the bot lane begin. and just start shoving. <laughs> We're gonna go here. Let's see if the Dahaka shows. Uh, Leaning's coming, bot. All right. We're off to a good start. Nice. Got a quick, easy kill. There's Nova up there. As the balance Find it strange that they're down here instead of trying to team fight mid. They left Jane out to dry, but that's okay. We're just okay. We traded kills. You die. We lost a bit of soak there because they let Jaina die, but so we're now we're back to even. The journey. Begin. Oh no, not your decoy. Whatever will I do? Looks like Lee Meek's come down here to annoy me. Let's go ahead and tap this, get ourselves topped off. Go. And got ourselves a kill. Very nice. One of the side effects of Bone Prison is that any skeletons you have up will focus on your target. Hello. I don't feel like dying to Dahaka. Oh god, I'm going to anyway. Alright, now this is a tough t tier, because I really like Curse Strike cooldown. It keeps it up so that if, if the wave just doesn't die right away, you can take that. If you got a really big wave, that Curse Strike you can't hit all of it. That one's good too. And not to mention, toward the end, when you can go and solo a camp with the attacks speed you get off your strikes. It's like, no, just hanging out down here. Uh, Alright, screw it. I'm going for that. You Use it on a wave, it takes the cooldown a lot. So 
Soda Hawk is up there. Go into the blackened night. Be sure to quickly, but it's the only thing we can do. We're down here already. Let's just go ahead and go with this. Now we rotate. Whoever was top couldn't hold it by himself, so we gotta get on this thing. take this one because in lane you can knock yourselves out a few skeletons and keep your mana sustained. I hate having to go back to base just for mana. The most annoying things in the game. Alright, they got her. So I'm going to head mid. Doing that real quick. I'm not good in a straight fight. <coughs> so. Nice. Looks like Yang Ming's trying to. No. Let our skeletons do their work. The Goon Squad. Strikes again. I'm gonna try to get his turn light down. I want to get this found for the next. Uh... Oh God. Got it anyway. All right. All right. We got 30 seconds. We should probably tap this out and then. Mage use is probably better, but I like Poison Nova. It really backs people off. What we're gonna do here? Now that the objective's about to come up, we can take this and get free push, and then the energy has to split up. Decide whether to take the siege camp That's it. Keep it up. or fight on the objective. Go into the blackened night. Poor Kerrigan. Oh, I got I got popped by the Nova. Very nice. Okay, but. Now it's Nova against their entire team. Killing spree. Minus me. Which is good. I mean, we won. We're going to take this. I wonder if they're together. Because they have been cheesing out every damn kill. And this Zeratul is a freaking legend. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, they've got bot taken care of. I'm going to head top. Enemy fort level. You have stolen enough of my Doc was a little late, but he might get a kill on Nah, doesn't look like it. Alright, so shut the shit in. Rinse and repeat. This is gonna end up, end up drawing someone up here, but that's fine. We can get this nice and easy. This is what I was talking about. Okay, so since I can't think and play at the same time, we're talking play at the same time. Oh, no, Diva!
Alright, we lost the uh, Zeratul. This is all fine. Oh, I love that skin. It's so cool. I got a little cocky. I knew they'd be coming up, but I didn't know they'd gonna try to bush camp me. I could've just walked straight out and been fine. For what it's worth, I almost took out the Kerrigan. And the Nova. But the, it's that's the name of the game sometimes. Uh, one of the neat things you can do with the attack speed and the curse strikes now. Get up in here. Just take these camps super fast. Boom. So now. Magic flows through the temples. Guardians. Sit here. We probably should be aggressive until this is back up off cooldown. Ah, they pop. Fuck. Okay. Screw it. I'm just gonna go back. See the kind of pressure that brings. Taking a camp at the right time kept that junk rat off of our crap. Our Nova. I guess our Nova has bribe, doesn't she? Oh no. No, she doesn't. Yes, yeah, she does. They both have bribe, so that's fine. And she's dead. The problem with playing D uh, Nova into p characters like D.Va is that she just charges through you, knocks you out, and then stays on top of you while you try to run. You can't re-stealth, which means you don't get your attack speed. Everything's off cooldown. Everything works, and it's very nice. Um, Go into the let's take this. Night. So let's just kind of pop at people without getting up close. Just like that. Bone Spear. Curse. Uh, and then Spectral Scythe. And then you don't even have to get close and you can still clear waves. Took out the wave. Now it's time to leave. Unto darkness. Don't have my ult, so I'm just gonna go duck over, shove out bot. No, the abyss as it knows you. So be it. With the two objectives top, what I think is a better play for me is to go ahead and shove this in and get these pounding on their on their team. You will be made. about see he's going for me ah the 
Uh, made it. Alright, so. Come over here. And we're going to super take this camp. With the Jaina here, it should die almost instantly. They actually kind of dicked me over because now I have to wait for my cooldowns. Celebration is in order. Go into the blackened night. Oh, how easy that is. Bone spear, spectral scythe. Just goes right through, kills the whole wave. You don't have to touch it. All right, we're gonna head down and try to help out. We don't have our, our heroic yet. No, the abyss. Shoving. The balance will be preserved. I'm amazed. I'm literally surprised. Alright. So, since we're doing well here, I'm gonna go and get up here and start getting this stuff moving. They can take that without me. Yeah, they don't need me to take that. I could probably come up here and ninja this camp. Because I don't think the Kerrigan can take it by herself. Go into the blackest night. Got it. Nice. We have done well here. Silent. Goon. So be it. Got a camp pushing that. That's gonna take that. And so the light fades from my temple. All right, cool. I stand sentinel. So now we're just gonna rinse and repeat. Let's see what happens. Maybe we can get the junk rat this time. Nope. Go into the black night. A worthwhile pursuit. Keep destroyed. Go into the black night. Oh, guys, come on. All right, that's fine. We definitely have a huge advantage. All we got to do is 
This should go down in less than a damn... Not even a few shots of the shrine. Once we get that... Their Nova's up. They need to play a little bit more carefully. Oh, their Nova's busy. Magic flows through the temple. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, Zeratul, you freaking legend. All right, this dude knows what he's doing. Okay, that's helpful. And not having a an ape. All right, this the hawk is a little aggressive. Thinks that that's all she, all it takes. Alright, Nova needs to get the hell out. I'm gonna go here. This is secure the victory. Just no need to push anything anymore. Just hang out here. Make sure we get this. Ugh. Finally, it went with this dude. Alright, so... Well, I think our Nova and Zeratul were working together very well, and knowing that they weren't going to win an all-out brawl. There was no winning an all-out brawl. If you notice, every time we tried to have one, we ended up losing it. If the Kerrigan would go in and just die, which is kind of funny, but... We took advantage of our strengths, right? We had a lot of skirmish potential. Diva can get in, do some damage, cocklock your damage, get out. And even if you get the mech, it's like half a kill. And then she just she stays there and keeps doing shit to you. But if you notice that if I didn't need to stay there, I went up there and I was getting other lanes pushing toward the enemy side. That keeps them responding, keeps the team split up, or else they'll lose keeps. Or else they're we'll get Later, when the keeps are down, they'll have catapults hitting their core. You gotta have someone respond to that stuff, and it's someone that can deal with it quickly. And as well, you can see, you can deal with shit quickly. One spectral side, then that bone spear on a wave that's as it's coming in, clears it. And what doesn't die has has your skeleton warriors dealing with. But this is Heroes of the Storm. That's how this game's played. You know, you can play League of Legends and worry about getting gold by going and dealing with waves, letting them stack up, all this other stuff, denying gold, denying XP. You don't need to play all that micro game stuff. Think about the macro game. Think about where your waves are, what your team's good at, and play what they're good at. A Nova Zero Tool combo is great at picking off heroes that wander off by themselves. Like a Li Ming who thinks that she's just going to wander between the two lanes. No, you got to take the safer path. Because they're looking for you. That Li Ming costs them a lot. And especially especially early on when, when Nova and Zeratul can basically roll together. Murder individual people as they're caught out. But the moment the enemy team would have grouped as five and just tried to take an object. Tried to take like a heap. They probably could have done it, but they were so busy responding to what we were doing that they never could get back on the foot. And Junkrat can clear waves fairly well, but he doesn't do it fast enough, and it takes too much of his resources. Li Ming can clear waves okay, but she has to take specific talents and then position in a very particular way. One of which, so that her arcane orb can hit the, the caster that drops the health globe, so that her arcane orb hits the whole wave. Problem is, is that that's an awkward position to be in. And if the Nova and the Zeratul are anywhere around, you can't pull it off without significant risk of death. And Li Ming can't get away from Zeratul because he can just follow. All he has to do is tag her with some damage, and, he, and she, as soon as she blinks, he can warp a blade, and then he has his blink on top of that. Not to mention, he can take another talent that can keep her, that can stack Vorpal Blades so he can keep doing that. And teleport to his to his W target. It's ridiculous how much he can stay on somebody. 
no matter how hard they try to get away. Li Ming is just very weak against people who can jump around skill shots like that with blinks. So that was our advantage. Our advantage was picking off isolated targets. Our advantage was shoving out waves, shoving in minion waves, and getting pressure on the map. Pressure is when there's something you have to respond to, and if you don't, you're going to lose something. Like a giant wave of minions pounding on a turret line is going to probably take the majority of the turret line. Even if the enemy minions show up, it's going to wipe that wave and then keep going. If you got a if you got a siege camp behind that pounding everything, it's even better. Which is camps are about timing. You got to take the camps at the right time. If you've got an objective bot popping and you can take a seat the one of the the uh, bruiser camps top. Or both. If you can get both, that's amazing. Having Nova with Bribe is, is outstanding for that. Especially one that's run around getting kills with the Zeratul. Because that that's the aim of the game. You win by, if you're going to be split up, you have to play heroes that can get out of that situation. Or apply massive pressure. But it's different than just pushing blindly. Pr pressuring the right t places at the right time is key to winning. That has been Heroes of the Storm. This has been Cheesecake rambling endlessly about his game. And now I'm out of here.